So, Sword and Craft 3.0. Oh, I don't have that texture pack. I thought that I had this texture pack, but I guess I don't. So I spawned in some water. That's pretty cool. Um, let's actually... That's my daughter right there. He's hitting save. Okay. Alright, so I, I bought the texture pack. I don't know, I'm just trying this um, cartoon texture pack out. Alright, so just survival. Just figured I'd try out this um, texture pack as well. Ooh, a little uh, mom land over there. A little, uh, what is that, um, jungle over there biome? Snow biome? Let's look at this. Look at the map. Spawned right there. Alright. So, just gonna do some survival, just... I probably should get some wood. So I had done some worlds before um, in the Xbox 360 version, so I guess this would be the first one in the Xbox One version. And, uh, I don't know, maybe build some cool things, or... One thing I haven't done yet is actually go to, like, find the end dungeon and beat the end dragon on one of a, on a video. Um, I have done it before, but, um, let's see here. Trapped chest. I didn't even know that existed. Crafting table. Oh, yeah, I need regular wood first, right? Spruce planks. Make a couple of sticks. Crafting table. Yep, that's Kira saying hello to everybody. Um, let's make some, uh, tools. Wow, <laughs> this texture pack's weird. I don't know what anything is. It's a wooden pickaxe, okay. We need one of those. A shovel is, what is that? It looks like a, uh, golf club. <laughs> and a stone shovel is a trumpet. It's interesting. Um, I suppose I could make a wooden axe, which is a banana. Let's do that, and um, I guess a sword, which is whatever this thing is. Is it a rubber chicken? <laughs> That's funny. It's a wooden axe. I'll pick this back up. Kira! What you doing? My daughter's about to turn one in about... Two weeks, three weeks. Um, yeah, definitely need to get some wool so I can uh, build a bed. All right. Oh, there's a horse over here. Oh, there's another sheep. Oh, this sheep looks weird. <laughs> What's up, sheep? You die, and you make me. Some wool. So now I can make a bed, which is good. 
Maybe kill one of these. A couple cows, get some food going. And leather, too. Oh, God. Let's go back up there. Alright. Should we kill the pig? The answer to that question is yes. More sheep, so I don't need any of those, but I really need to start getting some food going because I'm bouncing all over the place and I'm down a couple of hearts. Maybe we can set up shop right in here. Do I, I don't have a shovel yet, right? No, so let's, uh... Let's make a shovel. <laughs> this funny looking. Alright, so let's get in here and get some cobble going. Get a place to set up shop for the night because it's going to become night soon. And we've already got stuff to make a bed with, which is good. I don't know which is which. <laughs> it's funny. Um. We don't really need to go that far underground. Um, that's a sword. All right, let me. So I, I like to position my items a certain way in my inventory. Um, let's get cobble down here. Uh, put the shovel here. Put the map over here. Axe here. Put the pickaxe there. The shovel there. The axe there. We got food, but we haven't cooked it yet. So let's um have just enough to make a uh, furnace. Keep getting these lagging. Signs from Twitch. Kira! Hi, Kira! I love you! I should probably get more wood, huh? So I can get. Uh, I don't want to forget where this is, but that's okay. If I do forget. Go over here and get some wood real quick. Whoa! Oh, that goes pretty deep. Just a big hole in the earth. Glad I didn't fall into it. All right, let's beat uh, beat some trees down with a banana. Yeah, I want to get some um, charcoal going because. I'm going to need some torches, so I do not die in the middle of the night. Kira's just singing in the background. I hope you all enjoy that. <laughs> so I had played... I did I did a video... So I have a world going in this... Um, for Minecraft. Just a regular survival world. and I have a lot already going on in it, so I figured I'd start a new... Come here. Get out of my house. Alright. Let's, um, pick this up, bring it inside with us. We'll make some more wood. Wood, Jerry. Uh, so let's place that there. I'll make a, um, furnace. Put the furnace there. Um... Is this dirt? Um, so let's just put six of those. So we can make a few torches. Clear out some more of this ceiling so that 
We're not bonking our heads. We don't want to bonk our heads in the middle of the night. This is just temporary so that we can eventually get some more materials. Just get, get ourselves, you know, get sh the shop set up a little bit. I'm like literally like there's nothing really between me and the outside world. Just a couple of pieces of dirt. That's okay. Alright, so we get some charcoal. Let's get a couple of torches going. And we'll use the rest of the charcoal to um, cook with. Spruce planks. Make some more sticks. Alright, so let's place some torches. It's gonna start getting night soon. Looks like it already is. Let's make a door. Spruce door. Three spruce doors, okay. So that way we're safe for the night. Put one here, just you know, a couple here, just for good luck. Um, good measure, I should say. Let's cook some food. And eat said food. Let's make a bed. At least the bed looks like a bed. Eh, pretty standard. It's got little gold feet on it. Here, you hear the cow mooing outside? Ooh, it's night. Alright, let's eat some food. So we can regen our health. Am I going to be able to get all this food cooked with that? I'm going to need to get more charcoal or just regular coal. Kira! <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how long this video is going yet, so, um, I don't know, we've survived our first day. Let's sleep before the mobs start spawning, and I'll probably have a creeper right outside my front door. Um, make some stone tools now. Um, I'll make a stone shovel. Stone axe, which is a cane. No, we don't need an axe. We've got plenty left with our axe. A wooden hoe is a plunger. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, let's do a stone pickaxe, which is... Looks like a sword. Stone shovel. We'll wait until we use up all of the other materials first. Wooden axe. You know what we need is a chest. And put the chest right here. Oh yeah, I don't want to... Uh, I guess I could use up that last bit of fuel. Is that the character I chose? I don't think it was. It is. Avatar or whatever. Okay, so we'll keep some food in the chest as well. Kira! Hey! Hey! <laughs> Where's Kira? I'm sure this is a very interesting show right now. Just a bunch of sheeps out here. Um, Alright, so... 
We've got some stuff. I think I got everything I need. Oh, I don't need these doors. Um, don't need, I could make like a leather helmet or something, huh? I wonder what they look like. <laughs> look at the armor. Leather cap. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Um, leather boots. It's like a dog costume. That's hilarious. So that's me holding my rubber chicken with my weird shoes on. <laughs> okay. Let's um we'll find some more materials. I'm kind of like in this whole like valley thing. That's kinda of cool. Oh, did I make a stone sword? No, I probably should do that. Stone sword is a giant fish. Oh man, this texture pack is kind of hilarious. Okay, don't need to kill more sheep. Pretty much only kill sheep for enough wool to make a bed. And if I ever need to carry a bed with me somewhere or something like that, maybe I'll do that. Um. Oh, I see some coal up there. We are gonna need to get materials. So we survived our first night. That's always a good thing. I play on hard. Um, I don't know. It just makes it more fun to play on hard. Let's get this coal. I think it's coal. Looks like coal. It's always nice when the materials are actually out in the open. You don't need to go searching for them. I bet you we'll find some good materials in that hole in the ground that we found. I'll probably find that hole in the ground again the hard way. But um so we're gonna need more wood. I guess spruce wood's fine. We could go like see check out that jungle at some point, that'd be cool. Alright, it is a hole. See I was just saying it. I might find it by accident. I don't know if I want to go down there. I think I'd make it down there and land in the water. I think I could do it. Probably could, but then I'd have to like dig my way out. Um, should we be daring? Let's be daring. Oh, oh. nice, nice, huge cave. Yeah, okay. Kira is kind of crazy right now. Alright, so there's definitely some stuff down here. It goes down pretty deep. This is getting close to Daimon level. No, level 34. This one goes down deeper, though. I hear some bad guys. I don't know if I want to be down here right now. Let's get this coal and get out of here. So, yeah, so I'm looking for, like, we need to do some sort of, like, challenge or something with Minecraft. I was thinking, I saw this video once. Yeah? Okay. I saw this video once of a guy who, um, he, uh, what he did was he only spent one day cycle outside, um, meaning on the surface. Then he, he needed to survive remaining underground the entire time. And the only time he would surface is if for some reason there was a... Uh, like, he, like, came out to the surface by accident and, like, wasn't planning to. So, like, all the materials and stuff that you would normally need, like, wood and stuff, he needed to, like, scramble and get it all in that one day. That one day cycle. Um pretty interesting, but I don't know how long you'd be able to last by doing that. I don't know, that'd be kind of a cool challenge. There's other challenges too, other Minecraft challenges that you could do. Getting a ton of coal here, which is good. We're going to need some more torches. Probably spend a whole day cycle doing this. That's what I mean too, is like it takes forever 
especially in the early goings, to, um, oh, that was smart, huh? Good job, Jamie. Um, uh, to get all your materials, and then, like, if you spend the rest of your time underground, how are you ever going to get access to those materials again? I suppose you could get some saplings and grow a tree underground. I don't even know if you can grow a tree underground. But see, so that would be, like, a fun challenge. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be in this world, because we've already done a day cycle. But that day cycle happens so fast. I think he did like a day and a night or something like that. Um, and then just went underground and was underground for the rest of his time playing that world. Uh, it was pretty cool, but yeah, I don't know how far I want to venture into the underground worlds right now because I just don't have a lot of material and it makes me nervous. <laughs> For some reason, I always feel like I'm going to, like, if I die in Minecraft, I die in real life or something, because, <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me nervous, like, I don't want to die. Because I've, well, I've died a lot of times in, in Minecraft before, and, um, am I ever going to get out of here? What am I doing here? Let's do this. Have some coal along the way. But, um... I've I've died before and I've lost like all of my stuff. And um like didn't know where I was and couldn't go back and find it and you know you only get the like 30 seconds or whatever it is. This broadcast is going to come to an end pretty soon cuz Kira's getting a little cranky. There we go. Alright, we're out. And that's kind of a quick way in now as we have a a path. Alright, so we at least got some coal. Must be a dog around here, or a wolf, because there was a dead sheep. Yep, there's a wolf. Looks like a coyote. You know what it kind of looks like is, um... What is, what is that game called? Crash Bandicoot? Kind of looks like him. Um, so, let's see here. Oh, I keep getting those lagging things on Twitch. I hope it's not lagging my broadcast. Either way, there's no one in here live right now anyways, talking to myself. Just me and Kira talking to each other. And it's getting night, so... We'll call it a day with that, literally. So, um, thanks for joining me. Inaugural episode of Sornacraft 3.0. And, uh, did I just... No, I was just... Beating something with a chicken. Beating a chicken against the wall. A rubber chicken. In the next episode, we use a giant fish. <laughs> Alright. Have a good day, everybody, and we'll see you later.